Does that sound right. good? Can you hear it now? Yep. And okay. State your name. I'll state your name. Sarah Apshire. Joshua Krantz. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. My name's Jay. Hi, Jay. Can you tell me why you came in today? Um, yeah, I came in. I, you know, I'm having some issues with uh, a life change. Uh, you know, I'm trying to to get my life in order. Trying to change what I do, change my career. I'm having a little bit of issues with with drinking and recreational drugs. Um, it's yeah, it's a little overwhelming and a little scary. Okay. Can you tell me more about what what do you do for a living? Um, I work uh, construction, and it is you know it's a minimum wage job. Um, there's really not any room for upward movement. Uh, you know, upward upper management is not. I'm not. I spent 40 years at a job to become a site manager. I see. So I'm taking that you find it as a dead end job. Yeah, it really does seem dead end. Um, there's there's really not much to it. It's like I said, it's a minimum wage job. I can't make my bills on. I can't pay the bills that I have on that with that job, and um, you know I can't take care of my kids. I can't pay my child support. So it's you know the, the burden falls onto other people that I actually care about. Which makes sense. Can you tell me a little bit more about your drinking and drugs you mentioned? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a, a problem. It's, you know, social, occasionally I, you know, I'll drink by myself, but majority of the time it's a social thing. I think it's just an excessive amount when it's, you know, when I'm socially drinking. Um, and it, it, I want to say dabble in cocaine, so I guess that's definitely a problem. Okay, can you tell me in your eyes what you think excessive is? My determination of excessive. Um, I mean, I guess if I went by the, the paperwork, it's you know more than two or three drinks a night. Um, I mean, I think my determination of excessive is something that I can't control myself. Okay. Um, if I binge drink, but I don't need to drink, I don't think I'm excessive, personally. But if, I mean, I guess if I'm doing drugs, then I'm doing drugs and it's not really they're doing illegal activities so it's really I guess an excessive problem so I'm gathering that you do think it's somewhat of a problem yeah I okay. mean it's I don't know if it's the problem saying that I can't stop okay because I think if I tried to stop I think I wouldn't have a problem with it okay but I mean I, I well you're bringing wrong. it up and that brings the point that it's, it's concerning you yeah, it is. It's so, definitely part of the concern, especially concerning that I, I want to, you know, change my life and kind of start over. I don't think that should be a good thing to start with. Okay. So let's figure out together what you want to address first. We don't have to do that now, but you're talking about your job, mm -hmm. your children, supporting them. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot, but we can tackle it one thing at a time. Um, what's, what's the first thing that's bothering you right as we're speaking now? Um, primary what would you like to I mean I guess the problem the, the, the biggest problem is that I can't support my kids I can't pay my bills I can't support myself almost because of okay. the amount of money that I make because of the job that I'm in okay so we have a, a couple of things here that we have to figure out together what to do first because mm -hmm. if you don't have a job and you want to change your job you got to figure out steps to which we can cover later, mm -hmm. or whenever, that you can't support them, and you also have a drug problem, maybe not a problem, but it's not conducive to your life change that you want? No, I think I understand what you're saying. So like with the drug problem, I'm not gonna be able to confront the other problems that are more concerning. Like I'm not saying that, that my kids with. or maybe whatever you think you should work on first, you can let me know and we can work on that. But if you want to change jobs, you kind of want to think about what you can do in the meantime instead of quitting. And I we mean, can I talk about that. Probably the smartest thing to do is not quit, but figure out a way to do both. Very well. Um, you know, 
because you still have to work and still have to make money. Okay. So, I mean, I guess the initial step would be to not quit and figure out which way, you know, how I want to do it, whether I want to go to school or pick a different job that doesn't require school or start my own business or, you know, whatever it may be. I understand and agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, tell me more about your kids and any current relationship you're in. Um, yeah, I have two girls. Okay. And um, I have a girlfriend that I'm seeing now. Um, I'm divorced from my kid's mother. We got divorced about five years ago. And um, we have a, me and my girlfriend have a excellent relationship um, unfortunately for her with the problems that I'm having with work she takes the brunt of the issues with my support but she's really good to my kids and she takes care of them so she's uh, super supportive in pretty much everything that I need that's great mm -hmm. sounds like you're very happy in that in that relationship yeah my relationship is about the only where only spot that I am super happy in that's good. That's good to think about the positive that you have mm -hmm. when you're dealing with other problems. Yeah. Is she supportive, and does she is she aware of your wishes for change in your life? Um, yeah. She sees how the job makes me feel and is supportive in me changing. It's just, you know, it does add a stress to our relationship. Sure. Um, you know, she gets stressed out because she's worried that we're not going to be able to make the money for the bills, and, you know, I have my ex beating me down to go to court for child support that I don't have the money for and the court saying we're going to put you in jail if that's the yes. case so it you know it really can snowball into a lot of different stuff for stressors on us but otherwise I mean we're, we're definitely relatively happy or I should say very happy I shouldn't say relatively and your kids like her yeah they get along great um, they have a really good time with her they have a lot of fun they we like to they, you know they go hiking and stuff with her we all go to North Carolina all the time so we yeah they, we definitely do a lot of activities together I'm glad she's a, it's a good support for you. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to move forward with this, and when we move forward, let's figure out what to do and what steps we can take for finding another career for you. Okay. Have you thought about that at all, like what you might want to do? I've, uh, I, I know pretty much what I've been doing forever, um, which is like construction stuff. Um, you know, I know how to run a lot of equipment, bulldozers, loaders, forklifts, you know, all that stuff. So, I mean, maybe that can go somewhere with it, um, you know, work for a better company or, or do get into the service side of it as opposed to actually sitting out there every day grinding down dirt and, you know, building stuff. Maybe just servicing the vehicles or, go, you know, going into something like that. That could possibly be a little better than what or better than what I'm doing. Sounds like you have some things in mind already. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, yeah, I've had thought about it. Thinking about it is enough, and then we can work <laughs> on it together and figure it out. Okay. Um, how about the, let's, let's just think about how we're going to address your drug and alcohol problem. Have you tried any meetings, or are you into any counseling? Are you willing to try any of those things? Um, I, have dis I have seen counselors before. Okay. Um, for this specific this, uh, problem? Yeah. Okay. For, um, for the, you know, the, the drinking stuff. Um, sitting at the, the meetings, it, uh, I didn't feel like I was in the same boat that the other people were. Um, okay. It wasn't, I don't say controlling my life where it was every day I was getting up and I had to have a drink before, you know, I could function or every minute I had to, you know, was thinking about how I'm going to, you know, get more drugs or anything like that. So I didn't feel like that was necessarily where I should be at yet mm -hmm. um i have talked to counselors and it was it was you know in those meeting areas that's where we you know discuss the drug stuff and i mean everybody kind of has the same thing like that's a big issue you know that's that's generally where you want to start i just didn't think it was that big of a problem all right so i hear you're not comfortable you don't really identify with the aa meetings and that's okay mm -hmm. there are plenty of other options for that yep. counselors other kind of groups or we can delve into that but I'm glad you're willing mm -hmm. so yeah I'm definitely willing to change it I can definitely see where it's you know discussing it where it can be probably the first problem to deal with okay you know, especially considering if I'm having money issues I probably shouldn't be out at least that'd be like buying shoes if I couldn't pay my car insurance good point so, so let's work on that together okay let's start with that excellent okay. good job, good job.